I have a wonderful wife and two daughters, but at the start of the fire, I only had one daughter. I happened to be at the house the night of the fire. I got some texts, and they were saying that your tract is on fire and people are evacuating. The power went out and spectrum went out, and finally about 10.15, I decided to just go to bed. At about 12.30 in the morning, our neighbor came from across the street and woke us up by pounding on our front door. What I knew is that somebody really wanted to tell me to get out. We really thought we were coming back, so we shared a bag. There were very bad winds that night. There were Santa Ana winds. I knew that it was going to be a problem. And I just remember like looking outside, and like the sky was orange. 70 miles of mountains on fire that we could see from where we were. But it was also sort of magical, because when else is the sky going to be orange? I saw the orange glow in the sky. They had 100 firefighters on it. And I'm looking at the orange glow thinking, they need a 1,000. I go, this is really serious. I said, probably ought to get up. It's getting close. So I got up, and I said, holy shit. We all clustered around this one small window in our upstairs hallway, looking into Arroyo Verde Park and you know, seeing this wall of flames coming in. And I came out to the patio, and I saw flames probably 40 feet high coming over the back of the house behind us. We saw houses light on fire standing right here on the corner. We came up and parked up the street, and everything was on fire, and we could see our house was just fully engulfed in flames. There was a man standing in the middle of the road holding a five-gallon bucket. Um, his water tank was melted. It was on fire. His house was on fire. And he was collecting the water and putting it on himself so he wasn't going to burn alive. Then my dad just kind of looked around. And I mean, he's totally not the kind of person to ever evacuate a situation at all. Like, he's very sort of hardcore about protecting, you know, the home that he bought 40 years ago. Um, and he's like, I think we just need to leave. I gained more than what I lost. Is my life better? 100%. Neighbors kept coming and friends kept coming up to help. And the biggest lesson was something my father always said was that when you pick your friends and pay attention to your friendships because make sure they're the kind of people that you would want to go into battle with and would have your back. And another lesson was that you, it's some of the most unexpected people that you would never think. At the end of the day, uh, the thing that's most important to you is family. Learning how to share on a community level is different in a disaster than it is just in a food drive. Goodwill, kindness, respect, appreciation of diversity, that has to flourish and come out of the ashes. It has to for the country to survive. And there's no better way than to teach that lesson than to take your home from you, to flood it, to, to, to wash it away. And when you have that level of intensity, you must rise up as a human being or check out. And that is what has risen up out of all this. And if this is what had to happen for it to, for that to rise up, I'm getting to the place where I'm like, I'm thankful then. I'm gonna be thankful.